Mm -hmm. That's right. Or three. They gave you one on the Yes. <laughs> 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 three, then. Yes, I did it. I got three. No, it felt good. Uh, you know, but, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Do you feel like you need another game? or? I'm going to take as many as I can. I can't come off the cheese. So I'm going to take as many advances as I can. Hopefully I don't use all the hits up. But, uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, I felt great. So that's uh, the right direction. What were you looking for when, when you're up there? I mean, are you looking... If you're going to get pain and feedback, are you able to like your grip? I mean, what what kind of were you looking for? Um, to be honest, I think I was more, uh, you know, not not so much timid, but uh, you know, obviously taking BP. I touched something on the top of my finger, um, you know, and this in my capsule where I, you know, I had a lot of swelling. So, you know, especially left-handed, where the top rubs on the bottom part of my, uh, you know, my bottom hand. I thought, uh, you know, taking BP, I kind of felt some things in there. But even uh, swinging the bat, I felt some things there. It was tolerable though. So, that's all that matters. I said, if it's tolerable and I can go, I'm going to keep going. First swing, you obviously hit it pretty good. What'd you, feel, what'd you feel on that? Nothing. Um, honestly, when you hit the ball that good, it doesn't feel anything. But uh, you know, definitely, uh, you know, again, the pain's tolerable, and that's all that I was worried about. Wasn't that it didn't get worse throughout the throughout the game, um, and uh, you know, that's a positive step for me. And also, not throwing today, not playing the field, is that part of the reason why? Does it hurt? Oh no, not at all. No, it doesn't hurt. Uh, I have to throw it all. Um, you know, it really doesn't. I mean, when I throw, it's fine. So um, you know, tomorrow I'll go out there and I'll play uh, nine tomorrow on the field and go from there. So. Have you gotten jammed at all, either in BP or in the game? I haven't got jammed yet. I think, uh, you know, it's funny. It's, uh, you know, right hand, I wasn't too worried, but my last at bat, not, you know, warming up right handed, I was kind of thinking to myself, like, if I do get jammed, my finger does get pushed back. Maybe that's the part I would. So I'll find out tomorrow. I think they got a lefty throwing that's pretty good. And he's got some velocity on there. So uh, I guess we'll find out the, the true test tomorrow. So I didn't get hit right handed, but left handed felt great. So. For both you guys, uh, mixed crowd here, kind of Philly's territory. Just comments from bo both you guys on the crowd here? Yeah, they're. Uh, just like everywhere we go, there's a large Phillies following, and uh, uh, it's no different here. But uh, we just have an awesome network of fans everywhere. They travel well. That was great. Um, you know, also getting an ovation my first at bat. I think, uh, you know, and also when Brad came in, the ovation they gave him. So, you know, it's a testament to our fans. It's, uh, you know, what, 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 you know, how happy we are as players to have fans like that that travel everywhere to watch us play. And, you know, what we mean to them as much as they mean to us. Um, you know, I think that says a lot about them. And, you know, again, well, granted the ovations we did tonight for the both of us was, uh, you know, great. Do you feel like you have better fastball command tonight than you did on Thursday? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that's what I focused on today. Um, you know, every every time you go out, you're trying to accomplish something uh, that gets you closer to Philly. Uh, last time out, I was trying to get more on the fastball, and uh, uh, the control wasn't great. Uh, so this time I was telling myself to get my control better, and, and it was. And uh, that's a good sign that uh, uh, when I can make adjustments from outing to outing, it's a good sign that uh, things are going well and um, I'm not too far off. But I think I have uh, a couple more games, and I'll just be fine-tuning from there. Do you, did you feel like your velocity was still around the same level, or did you think it maybe? I backed off a little bit tonight to make sure my command was there. Um, it, it felt like I could rear back and throw more tonight, and maybe I would have had good command with that too, but tonight I really wanted to focus on uh, control, and uh, I know getting back up to Philly, you know, there's going to be a few clicks that jump on that fastball, it's just the way it always works, and uh, so really, you can get your command down here, pump your, so, you know, get that fastball up as much as you can, but, but don't sacrifice the command, and I did last time, so I made sure this time not to. And was that a fastball you struck that guy up? It, it was, yeah. How important is tomorrow for you, Brad, to go on back-to-back -back days? So tomorrow's definitely important. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's it's one of those deals where game to game, you're not really worried about results. You're worried about accomplishing your goals and getting back. And so this is a big goal um, that you got to accomplish just on back to back days. And uh, you know, throwing a night game tonight and then a day game tomorrow. Um, you know, get hopefully get through tomorrow feeling good. And then uh, when that happens, uh, I'll be feeling real good about uh, about getting back to Philly. At least you know, in terms of health and everything else. Schedule still. Wednesday, maybe a day at Lakewood, and then back to Philly, maybe about a weekend if it all goes well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if all goes well, um, we're going to be uh, hopefully back in Philly for that uh, opening uh, home, home stretch. Brad, how much easier logistically does it, you had to do this the last week, does it make it that these places are close to Philly? Uh, does that make it easier for you just logistically? And, you know? Yeah, I mean, without a doubt. It's, uh, you know, it, it's been. It's an awesome thing when you can drive from place to place and get your rehab games in, and you know maybe one team's on the road or maybe two teams are on the road, but you still got a third option. So, um, you know that's uh, that's very very helpful. Um, you know I don't know how many organizations have a setup like that. I can't imagine it's a whole lot, but uh, this is this is nice. Who picked up the spread? 
<laughs> Tomorrow. Shane, <laughs> so you've been you've been around this team twice, Brad. You've been around this team all week. Just some impressions from both you guys on the on the talent at, at the double A level for the Phillies. Um, you know, I think uh, what I see is the guys that are, are working hard. You know, I think that uh, you know, say I like to say everyone we get a chance to get the big leagues, but that means that Brad and I are out of a job. Um, you know, so I think uh, you know, just the, the work ethic. I think going about it, playing. You know, from what I saw tonight again is that. You know, playing the game the right way, moving guys over, trying to get guys over um, in bunch situations, um, you know, stuff like that. I think that's very important at this level. And, you know, just, just thinking about back to when I was there, that was a lot, a lot of emphasis was, yeah, you'd like to hit three plus every year and, and do all these wonderful things. But it was more about playing the game the right way, getting guys over, you know, sacrifice situations, you know, running the bases correctly. I think that was very important. And tonight, they, you know, they're very sure that that's why, you know, we're ahead right now. You seem pretty locked in right before you got hurt. I mean, and did that make this even more frustrating, this injury? <laughs> I think the embarrassment of it was, uh, you know, part of that made me frustrated more than anything. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, swinging the bat well, playing well. Um, you know, anytime you get hurt, though, it's frustrating. You care if you're not hitting at all, you are hitting. Um, you know, but I think it was, you know, for me, it's like I feel like another big letdown for the team, you know, having to go on a DL again. I think, uh, you know, knock on wood, I stay injury free the rest of the season. Um, you know, I don't want to have any more trips like this, but. You know, fortunate for me, that was a freak accident. Uh, you know, something I hope that never happens again to me. Um, one embarrassment, two is you know, end up having to go on a DL. So, you know, I think just uh, you know, going out there and play. But you know, things happen when you play the game hard. So, you know, fortunate for it did happen. But you know, knock on wood, we can keep going forward. And you know, we all get healthy, and uh, I think we're gonna be pretty fine if we uh, you know, we all get out there. And uh, I don't think there's any need for trades if we can get everybody back to being healthy.